Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a brush pen video on the Zig Memory System Brushables. I have been trying to get my hands on these for probably the last couple of years. These aren't new brush pens by any means. I've seen them reviewed on other people's channels and for some reason I couldn't get a hold of them here. So I think on Amazon uh, I could get one marker for maybe 10 or $20. So I said, forget it. And then I saw them on Stationery Pals. So guess what? I placed an order and you would have seen these pens in my last Stationery Pals haul. I will link that video for you if you are at all curious. So um, I'm gonna get started. We're going to do some swatches with them. First, we're gonna write out the title so we know what pen we're talking about here. And so I remember watching one video on, I think it was How to Hand Letter. I think her name is Susie. And she was saying that she likes these pens because I just wanted to, to watch her last video on these markers. She likes them and she was going to reorder them because she liked them, but she just never ended up reaching for them as her collection of brush pens grew. But um, I've been trying to get my hands on them for a long time because I do have a, a pretty good collection of brush pens myself. So I wanted to, to see what they were all about and what the hype was all about. Zig brushables. Okay, so what we're gonna do is organize these pens, first of all, for aesthetic. Oops. Okay, for aesthetic purposes, when I got these pens, I think it's just because of the case it opened up and they were all over the package when I got them, which is not a big deal. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, what they say on here is dual tipped marker, ideal for card making, lettering, and scrapbooking, archival quality, keeping your precious memories. So it does say, please note, not intended for use by children. Do not leave in direct sunlight or in high temps. You shouldn't do this with any of your brush pens. Replace cap firmly after use and any pigment markers must be stored in a horizontal position. If they are not positioned correctly, this will, will result in one of the tips becoming dry and unusable. So that is pretty much to do with any brush pens except the ones that have the liquid ink in them, which would be Karen Pro brush, brush markers or the Sharpie stained. Those ones you should keep vertical. So the fun thing about these is that they have only one color on the barrel. So I was looking the other day, trying to find two colors because there is a different color on each end. So I think it's the same color, just a different shade of that color, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm trying to see which color is which. Okay, so the color number is on the right of the barcode, I believe. And the color actually is right underneath the barcode. So as I write them out, I'll write out um, the number in one color, which would be fun, and the um, actual color in the other shade, if that makes sense. So let's organize us some brush pens. We might have to switch them around after. We'll see how it goes. And that's so satisfying. That's really pretty. So these ones, I'm not really sure if they belong there. They're all pastel colors, but I think this is more like a pink, so I'm just gonna pop it there. And this is orange, but this is really bright or really light, so I don't know. We'll just play it like that and see how those colors, I really like that. That's so aesthetically pleasing, okay. Instead of going on and on about it, we're just going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to put that there. Maybe. Okay. Let's go ahead and write out these colors now.
that's the last of the color swatches. And now I have a couple of things to say about these. So my first impression is that the colors are a little bit washed out, but I think that's actually because I did the bright colors with the number, so that was one side, and the other side was the lighter of the two, if that makes sense. So it would make sense for it to be more washed out because they're supposed to be two different tones of that same color. So in saying that, you have 24 pens in this pack and you've technically got 48 colors, which is kind of awesome. And I like these pens because, let me tell you this right now, because they are, they have a firm nib and I like that they are a little bit fatter. They don't have anything to stop the pen like from rolling away, but I mean, that's not a deal breaker in a pen. Like I, that, that part doesn't really bother me. The packaging is what it is. It kind of reminds me of like a Secura Pigment Micron because of the beige color on the outside, but I really like the double-ended tip. I think what we're gonna do, instead of wasting paper, I'm just going to see um, how well they perform blending out. So I'm gonna try blending them with my Tombow blender and see what happens. Again, we're using um, Rhodia dog red paper, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Okay, they blend nicely. That's actually really pretty. Okay, so they're definitely um, water-based. And now I just wanna see what kind of blending techniques I can get on my little blending card here. I'm gonna lay some color down with this dark green. So these pens, I definitely can see myself using them for lettering. They're really, really nice, actually. Weeks each time I use it. I like that. Yeah, these are really pretty. And you know what? They blend as well as any pen that I've kind of played around with that's ha that has um, water based properties. So they're really nice. I think when I when I did the swatches here, I didn't make them big enough because depending on your brush nib size, like this brush nib is pretty firm and I really like it. It reminds me of, I think it reminds me of Tombow's a little bit. Let me just have a feel. They remind me of Tombow's, but I think they're a little bit smaller. Yeah, they're a little bit smaller. Um, let me see the downstroke and upstroke of a Tombow. I love Tombow's. They're like my favorite brush pen. And really, you can get almost the same thickness with these. So the nib is a little bit smaller, but you can get pretty near the same thickness. So, or even bigger. And um, yeah, I think you can get the difference between like the upstroke and the downstroke. There's a pretty good difference there. So you can get some really nice lettering pieces with these. And I think the selling feature, honestly, is that there are different colors on each end and there are so many of them. So I would recommend these. I know that um, this is definitely not like a new item. So if you have these, what do you guys think? Have you, do you use them to color with? Do you use them for fun? What do you use them for? And do you love them? And um, I think, honestly, if you already had Tombows, I would say that you're not missing out. I wouldn't buy these if you already have Tombows. Personally, I'm a Tombow lover. I know a lot of people say that they are like really hard to play around with and practice on. And actually, I'm going to get a Secura Koi coloring brush marker out here because I have a feeling that these are very similar to the Secura. Let's see. They're actually pretty close. The Secura probably has a bit wider of a nib. I just want to see the difference. Oops. The only difference I know for sure on the size of the pen, like these are tiny and these are quite long. So I mean, even the Secura, they're very similar with the nib sizes 
these ones are a bit thicker and these are smaller but you can still get very similar upstrokes and downstrokes so you know honestly they're I'd love to say they're a great pen and they are there's nothing wrong with these pens I would totally get them but there are other pens that like my Tombows I'd probably reach for my Tombows before I reach for these but because I am a huge collector of brush pens I also love playing around with different brush pens in my bullet journals in all of my spreads and I use them in my regular journals I use them pretty much every time and everywhere I need them so they'll get a lot of use for my particular needs but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these pens. Have you used them in the past? Like, have you heard about them? I mean, obviously the colors are very aesthetic and they're very pretty. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the description or I guess below the description. We'll talk to you guys soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love to have you. If you would like to subscribe, please press the subscribe button. And the little bell notification will let you know the next time I post a video. So we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye now.